believe cab corp so hopefully we're gonna get some more super fun content have i been talking enough to actually get us to the start of uh the actual full proper show 15 seconds away <sighs> i'm ready i'm ready are you ready is the question are you ready over there and you and you and you and you i really hope the times just show themselves I, 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 something is going to happen. I think something is going to happen. I'm not 100% sure. We've just hit 7 p.m. Have I done it correctly? Where do I F5? Preview results. All right. 206 people. 420. I love that. <laughs> so let's go a little faster just for the sort of early times. Straight getting into the twenties there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. I'm not gonna make top dude, I'm not even gonna make top fifty at this rate. Holy crap. I was waiting for, is Wenger's name going to come out? Oh, Scarecrow, dude, the guy is new and he's getting himself a good time there. I recognize the name Might. Hello. I recognize Pony as well. Tamer. I recognize a bunch of these names. Got Timothy in there. We start 122 VQ3 signups. Jesus Christ, it's, it's good. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to need to. They're going so quick. It's going so quick. And zero CPM player. Dude, it's top 90 and it's it's in the 17s. How are people going so fast? How are people going so fast? My time's going to suck. <laughs> the dream is. Oh, my God. Look, we're basically at my PB and we're top 70 at the moment. Hyper, hyper is only seven. How many insane times have we got? I'm going to come out. I'm going to come out in a moment. This is really, really some close, close players. Top 63. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Holy crap. These times are insane. What is going on? What is the level of competition that we've got at the moment? Zerg, well, he's not hes not really VQ3. I think he just whacked a timeout. So we're at like 29 seconds for VQ3. We're about to hit 16s for CPMA. CPM, sorry. Boris, he's got himself 28.9. WW. Zerg, Zerg's only got top 54. Well, he's, I know he's good with weapons, but okay. It's a big, big surprise there. I'm slightly surprised uh, we were as well. Um, we continue. Without name. You want me to go without names? Well, let me let me get to top 20. I want to get to top 20. Balls out. In fact, I'm, in fact, I'm like, I'm happy to see... Guys, quick vote. Thank you very much, Soth, by the way. 63 bloody years. Appreciate it, man. I think I think we just go through this and then we like enjoy the times because I, I don't wanna like tease ourselves too much. I, I wanna see yeah, I think let's go let's do the top now. If people prefer it, let's change it next time. Nebulous forty five. What are the hell is going on of times? We've got Cab Corpse out, Nick is out forty three. I'm trying to keep my eye on both of them. Effect is solid player. Waz put in a VQ three time, he's got forty one. That's pretty cool. Cab court now 16.6. We've still got so many times left and we're already in 16 and a half. Enter with 37. What the shit is going on at the top? What is going on? We've got some undead players, more undead players coming out too. Charlon, 16.5 is a solid player too. Demonor is out. That's um Nebula's teammate. Nightmare manages to get a 16.4. Storm with a 16.4. Just framing Nightmare. And Kroot, 27.5. Berserk has got a timeout. 27.5 as well. Haze is there. Mystic. 
16.4. Holy shit, guys. Times are going to be wild. They're going to be absolutely wild. Cyrax are un like a string of undead players. Zas manages to get top 23 with Cyrax. The same same time exactly, in fact. Ket, top 21. ND. All right, we're getting, we're getting to the big boys of this round now. We're getting to the real big boys. Let's... Let's let's slow it down a bit more even. Zas managed to get top eighteen. He is the VQ three player, I think, on the team with somebody who I can't remember. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're, going, we're going too fast here. Strange love. Wait, that's not strange land. I'm going crazy. Hades with a sixteen point two. We're gonna get sub sixteens, it looks like that's for sure. But there's been such like a group of Charkin, top eleven. Gopa, I'm pretty sure those are on the same team. They both got top 11. Haste, 16.1. Temfex making top 10. We're in top 10 with Haste and Brigand. IVX8 as well. He's got himself top 9. Yotun, doing brilliant. I, we have just seen it. Lith has made top 7 with a 16.1. Oh shit, I'm gonna... Woody with a 16.1. Framing Lith. Hox is out. Dex! Dex only gets... Top five somehow. We got Nookie's got a seven as well. Uh, that Strange Land has just managed to frame Dex. Ed has got a sixty point. A Cygub's brother, Roman Breaker, Baz only top two. We got Hazel top one. Is that going to be Anne? Who's who? That's Anne, I'm pretty sure. And Hades gets top one. VQ three. Holy crap! We get three tenths of a second on Haste. Like half a second faster basically than Dex. And I think that's Anne. That is Anne, okay. With a 15.7. We'll call it a 7, even though it's basically an 8. Yeah, you did, Lith. That is crazy. Lith, you were like 0.35 away from Anne as well. That is absolutely wild. Very, very surprised at some of these. Surprised at seeing Dex only in 5th at the moment. Uh, obviously this is round one and there's a lot more points to be decided, but holy crap. And with a great start, Baz. I mean, he's going to be up there, right? He's going to continue to be up there. Ed, who I don't know very well at all, but Saigab's brother. That's, that's super exciting. Guys, I'm going to just, uh, mix some stuff up and we can start downloading some demos and getting into the nuts and bolts of this, okay? Uh, how do I do that? So we've got special top 30 demo pack. Uh, I might just download all demos. All right, you're going to have to give me a moment, guys, because I'm... Yeah. Shit, what have I done? Okay, so they're named anonymously. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use this system right now because we know who it is. So I think I'm going to use the all players. Big thanks to Krep as well for the 16 months, by the way. Not absolutely welcome, and I hope you're enjoying the defrag content. Uh, I've been absolutely buzzing with everything that's been going on. All right, so CPM... Round one. I've got to find... Holy shit. Top 20. How do I... What's the best way to do this? <laughs> Round one. Right. Ah... Uh. Okay, I think we found it. Who's who? Uh, I'm gonna find who's top twenty. Okay, so we're gonna do VQ three first. We're gonna do VQ three first, and we're gonna start with top twenty guys. Uh, who came twentieth though? Have I got a preview results again? I've got to quickly like run through the results and then we'll uh, we'll see. Oh, I can I can count it. It's fine. We'll figure it out from here because otherwise it's going to take me a while to get into that. All right, guys. Let's uh let's play some 
Let's watch some defrag. Okay, map one, VQ three, round one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh yeah, that's the entire page. Right, we're starting with enter, guys. Never seen anything um, here, basically. I don't have a damn clue what to expect. But this is a, this is BQ three times. So we're just learning about what kind of roots are being used. I imagine VQ3 roots are overall going to use some fairly similar times to each other. Okay, so it seems pretty straightforward. Okay, I, I honestly don't know how much deviation we're going to get from this. It's just one route, but, you know, what can we go from it, right? What was my rank? My ranking was 63? It was in the 60s. I really thought it would be better than that. Feels bad. Alright, we move on to the uh, to one. We had Enter. I Forgive me so much, I forgot the name that I'm watching. I'll credit them after. Okay, using a very similar route again. See, I don't think I can think of that stuff. Oh, this is different though. He takes a different um, approach into this area. Seems pretty straightforward. Be ashamed. That's damned light. Damned light did that. Congrats. So this is Zass. Zass, one of my favorite players to watch. Um, let's see what he's able to do. I would possibly have expected Zass to be higher up, but I think he's a bit more of a genius with um, with weapons in involved. So this looks a bit different. Uh, this looks more similar to the sort of enter run that we had at the start. Th there is a slight difference in route, actually. But there's very similar outcomes from all of them. How do I enable that? How do I enable so that we can see names? If someone can tell me how to do it, then I'll do it right this second. <laughs> how, how can I show... Who's Zamamax? Finnish player? It's amazing how it's similar to yours, but five seconds faster. <laughs> Someone tell me how to show names. Uh, I'd love to I'd love to know. This is a strafe pad god. Well this kind of maps uh, help. There's not too much. There's like two main routes that we're seeing at the moment. Okay, this is different. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's some really tight vertical gaps there that he's using. So, hang on. We're going over to just sort it so I can... Well, I've got on there, search info 117. Does it matter where? Do I have to put it here? Or if I just put it in? GFCH2 info 1. Alright, let's try it. It's a procy. Let's see if this does anything. I can't see player names still. And the same start that we just saw previously. Oh, okay. Okay. We're splicing it up now. Wow, that is so different, man. That is such a different route. That's insanely different, man. Because he, ch he sacrifices so much speed, but he takes like a far more um, as the crow flies type of, uh, type of thing. Oh, do I have to draw on demos? Mm -mm. I had it on for always. Well, they're on both on. I'm not doing C guys and Snapad. I'm. Uh, I. I refuse to do those. Oh shit. Icarus is next. 
So for like two frames difference, the uh, type of route we got, it couldn't have been more different. Okay, got the name, but it's... The positioning's not right. <laughs> you can see it at the moment, my face is going to get in the way, that is for sure. Okay, so we don't take the lower route at the beginning for Icarus. So he actually wants to go. This is this is like one of the most common variations at the moment. But only when you do this run, you lose arguably more speed going up that little uh, slick area. I can't lower the cam overlay. It's not that easy. CMC in the house. He's donated a couple hundred dollars to the prize pool. Oh, this is so. This is showing like right in the middle. Can't even see the speed properly. Why has it done that? Wait, I it's ruining that run. I'm gonna do CMCs again in a moment. Um, if I do that, I wonder if that changes it. Nope. I mean, better, but still no. We don't. We don't entirely need the name. I'd rather just let's just not mess around with it. Let's just go. Let's just let's just enjoy some runs. I'll tell you who it is. You you guys will know. It's just in case anyone's got the stream muted or something. So taking the upper area. So he gets there with 1,200 UPS. And he uses a sort of ramp to boost downwards. It's pretty, I do like that route a lot. I really wonder what's going to become more common as we get up here. Uh, I think we're getting into the top 10 around Brigand, if I'm right. Uh, yeah, looks right. Oh, it's it's no big deal now, guys. I'll make it better. I'll, I'll improve it more. I did some config changes earlier today, but I'll keep improving it for the following rounds. Is he going to use the same? Okay. So this seems to be like the new, the new deal. To get those extra tenths off, you're taking this route. And you're sustaining like more speed over here. Even though with the other route going lower, you probably spend more time continuing that direct acceleration. Like, overall, you sacrifice less doing that. We're getting two tenths shaved off from Suburb, who... God, some of these demo names could be from people whose names I really don't recognize. Yeah, I can't wait for us to get to Hades' run. It's it's going to be insane. Hades once told me, by the way, that he thought I had really good circle jumps. Just saying, okay? I have that on my resume. Whoa. Okay. Wow. So there's so many, like, angles, like, parts of geometry on the map where you can get those turns on VQ3 because you obviously haven't got any air control, so you need to you, you need to work with the map to get the most out of it. So actually, in terms of how much variation we're getting on this map, it's more than I was expecting. We're getting a lot of variation in times from top 20 to top 11 now. We're going with Gopa. Let's get that spot right. Get it right. He's probably done like 500 runs before this in this session. Take your time. And Gopa is a super solid player, so top 11 is, is, is a good time, but definitely someone who I could see getting even higher. All right, going a la CMC and so on. And it's about those optimizations. If you're using that same route, it's about, okay, how efficient is your strafing? I think we're entering top 10 now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Brigand getting into top 10 into the 25s, just not five thousandths. No, wait, am I doing it wrong? Five hundredths of a second off. 
Hey, why is this around? Glad to have you all here, guys. Thanks so much for sharing this uh, this defrag moment with each other and with me together. It's poetic. He must have got a really good jump here because his string across the gap wasn't as good as we've seen. But I think he's just got really dope strafing. So Brigand, 25.9. Congrats, sir. Just two frames off is IVX8. Someone who I said is definitely someone to look out for is in top eight. But we've got all kinds of surprises in this first map. Yeah, that was a good time you got, Waz. I'm impressed. Genuinely impressed, man. Considering how much time out you have. Alright, so we're back down to the low route. Oh, cuts in really short. We're carrying insane speed. It looked like he was going to go into the gap just then. Ivy X8. He makes it look so slick. Yotun. In terms of VQ3 runners, this is definitely... I, I, I do fanboy Yotun quite a lot. I think he's super, super solid. <laughs> And what I'm going to do before the CPM run, I'm going to show you my run, and how much worse it is, just so you can kind of, like, gauge what we're likely to be getting, or just imagine what we could be getting from the others. And Yotun, to me, is... It's like, from what we've been seeing, it's like using a run that we've seen before, but he's just doing better and better and better and better. But somehow, we shave off, like, a second to Hades. I don't know how we lose that much time. One tenth off, though, is Nookie. Dewey, thanks so much for the raid, man. Hope you're well. So, a tiny little pre jump. Possibly secure an extra 10, 20 UPS. Looks like he's going to go over the top. Carries a good amount of speed. No one's using the top route, though, are they, guys? Ha! Got you there. So, Nookie God. I've got some other surprises from Nookie later as well. Uh, Loki. Or Loki. Lo Loki. Loki. Here, in top six. Prepare yourselves for a dex run after. <laughs> Is it Lockie, the, the actual name of the player, or am I getting this wrong? Because it's getting confusing a little bit. Again, using the run. I mean, there's got to be something unbelievably different that Hades is doing to get times better than this. Like, that much better. So the last couple, two, three runs have been really, really similar. But, you know, he's managed to take off two tenths from Nookie. Wait, is my math right? Right, three tenths from Nookie. Increasing those efficiencies. Dex framing Loki now. Dex run ink. Just a straightforward circle jump as well. No funny business. Dex won one of the few strafe only maps that we had. It was a map six on Defrag World Cup 2017 with an unbelievable run to start tying things up with Strangeland. That was super dramatic. And again, it's very similar run, just done incredibly efficiently. We've had like three, four runs in a row now that are so, so similar. But I feel like stuff's gonna... And framing, framing decks is Strangeland, the guy that he was having a war with last time. Lucky, Dex, Strangeland, all within two frames of each other. What's up, Effortless? Oh, Defrag is life, man. Defrag is life. It was... Were we using the sort of side part before? I'm not sure. It seems a little bit slow getting across there, but I don't know. Like, compared to some others. He carries a lot of speed through that portion, though. And just framing decks. Is that going to be a war that we'll see later on? We'll see. I'm so glad that I hyped up Roman, though. I think this guy is fantastic. Really glad to see that he's getting himself top three, but still over four tenths away from what Hades is doing. And 
I'll slip down the side too. It looks like he's going to go over the top. And again, these runs, I mean, this this seems to be the route. Hades, Hades has, has got to have some knowledge. He's got to have some intel, guys. That's all I'm thinking. All I'm thinking. Congrats to Roma, though. Top three. Great run from him. Really, really good run. We've got haste now. Taking off almost a tenth from Roman. Actually gets a lot of speed on the road down there. He just skips. Wow, holy shit. The amount of speed that he had there. He just skips the frost pad. Or ice pad, whatever you want to call it. Totally. That is some insane strafing speed that Haste is carrying through there. That is totally, totally wild. Guys, though, we have got to Frog, aka Hades, who's got the number one VQ3 time for round one Defrag World Cup 2019. What the hell has he done? Is, is this going to be some, like, ridiculous run? He's gone full tank junior on us. So far, this looks familiar. Is it just going to be efficiency, or has he got to change route? It's like Haste, really similar route to Haste. How the hell did he carry that speed through there? How on earth did he do that? That is unreal. That is absolutely unreal. How the hell? We've got to watch that like a couple more times. How did he do that? I'm going to watch it one more time in real time, and then we're going to go to... So this gap is ridiculous. The wall could be get The fact that he doesn't double jump it... And he's, it means he's carrying like 1700 UPS or however much it was for an extra jump or two? That makes an insane difference. An absolutely insane difference. It's alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow mode it now when we get there. We'll slow mode it from around here because we already see. So it's 1500. Is he getting past the sort of main CPM slick? And it's the, the amount of speed that he carries through there. So he lands on the platform, I think, and then it's like a, just a crazy sort of clip type of thing up. He jumps over. Oh, he no, no, he does jump on it. I thought he over jumped it. But the fact that he gets onto that platform straight away and somehow doesn't touch the next one. I, I do not know how many times he tried to do that. But that is a ludicrous amount of speed to carry through. That is insanely impressive that that's even physically possible. I don't know if he did touch that platform, man. Uh, let's let's go back back we, we have to we have to appreciate oh, we lost like 60 fps all right i was looking at a sort of a physical move rather than something else so there he jumps on it 1700 1710 15. 20. Oh yeah, he does he does lose a chunk. But he's like he if if that's just tapping like an object on the map, that's like the lightest tap you could possibly do. Shut up, Baz. <laughs> Baz tilted because he's not number one. Sorry, that was really mean of me. Guys, let's do... Oh, well, let's actually not do CPM yet. Because I've got... Nookie told me to play this, okay? Nookie told me to play it. I don't know... Okay. <laughs> A backwards VQ3 run. How good is this run going to be, though, is the question. Whoa, how did he do that? That's... <laughs> 
This is like a pretty good run as well, to be honest. And he gets over the top. <laughs> Still I. Bravo. Bravo. That's a shame that you couldn't finish it. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Alright guys, let's watch my PB. I came top 63, 67, I don't know, like 60 something. And then let's watch the rest of the CPM runs. I just, just so that we can get like a contrast between what I've done and what the actual good players have done. I use top root. All right, shut up. Anyone who was listening to me earlier. I think it's going to be a lot down to how fast people get on the uh, on the slick. Uh, all right, CPM round one. We're going to start with this guy, FPS Andy, Mr. Belarus. And up at the top, uh, who is who? That's Anne, isn't it? That's Anne. Yeah, all right. I know what's going on. Oh, he doesn't even land on the thing. Okay. He's using top, but he doesn't mean it. It was an accident, all right. <sighs> Holy shit, dude. That's so much speed, man. So much speed. We don't need to watch the rest of them, guys. It's just cheating at this stage. And look at these guys here. Uh, there's 10 players. Wait, no. To here, all of these people are within two tenths of each other. All of these people are within two tenths. XPC. I hate the fact- Can you stop comparing it to my time? I don't want that on. Oh, I know I've got to delete some stuff for it. A CPM could end up being like... Even more... Because there was some decent diversity in the... Um, all of these guys have got the same time. There was some decent diversity in VQ3, but I don't think we're going to have the same diversity anymore. <laughs> it's top root, but it's it's all a lie, guys. Every other one at the moment. I like how he looks down. That's uh star points there. To Gryffindor. Bruh. Bruh, as they say. We've got boss. No, Vu doesn't do this generally. Okay, let's get onto the slick as soon as possible. You just need to carry that much speed to make those jump marks. I was trying to play with those jumps before, but yeah. It was bloody hard work. New bricks. It's a slightly different version of the map, yeah. Slightly different. Okay, that's different. There's difference there. Oh, he's using a top. God damn it, Newbricked. Well, that was definitely a very different start. I like to see it. I like to have some variation here. And still managing to, like, frame... Oh, sorry, have the same time as both... Uh, oh, no, he didn't. He got a couple of ten, uh, hundredths more than Boss Noobs on an XBC. ZQN. I do like Newbricked's route a lot, though. But there's such a wide turn taken out. He carries over 2,000 UPS. So to me now, I'm wondering, how do you go faster? A full second. Strange love. Not strange land. Uh, he's now got himself an extra frame faster than ZQN. Is that, is that Hades? You managed to get like a top 15 time in CPM also. That's pretty mad. This all top, guys, is something horribly wrong here. The guys are playing the map wrong. I don't know Strange Love as well, but... Okay, so I, I think Frog got to be Hades, right? Hades getting a, a top one time. Then what, top 16, 15 CPM?
So where is it getting? Because sometimes we're seeing between like two, uh, 1900 and 2100 going up to the slick. There's very, there's definitely a big variance in like the levels of speed that we're getting from slick. Don't, don't count it, Composition V. Just, I'll send my 20 euros soon, okay? Back off. That's a lot of speed there. Jesus Christ. I'll be saying that a lot. It's a lot of speed. <laughs> Alright, off shark it. Are we? 1, 2, 3, 4. This lift was 7, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so we're at off shark and made 11th. I'm very excited to see Anne's run, though. Oh, he does actually do this, like, weird clip. That start is super unusual. And the way he got onto the top there, again, also very unusual. But I've and carried a lot of speed. It's, it's weird how the subtleties now in the CPM version uh, seem strangely impressive. Haste now. We're in top 10 land. A, a very similar start. And he kind of just drops onto the, to the ramp. It looks like he was gonna he was clipping that that part of the wall there. Very nice from haste. We've got Tempfex. Uh, always excited to see Tempfex. Plasma, ground boost, master. No plasma in this run though. Amazing that there's over 600 of you uh, you guys coming to watch some defrag. By the way, love that this many people are tuning in, and it's just for the strafe only map too. Not even. Uh, not even a weapon runs or anything like that. Absolutely fantastic. P Puzz? I don't know who that is. But get yourselves ready for a lith run afterwards. Ah. Uh, there's the Klesk, right? That's the Klesk. All these cowards using the top run. The top route. Wait, that was Orb, not Klesk. Am I losing my mind here? I can't tell the difference. They're all just really annoying sounds. Was oh, that Bones? Jesus Christ, they're all... Bones, Orb, and Klesk just all make n noises that make you want to kill yourself. Whoa. Hang on. I want to look at that again. That was weird. What a weird start. So he... Kind of double jumps it and like falls and now we get to woody nice one lith by the way so show me use the top right route but you know still <laughs> edge fucking for stuff uh woody here one of my faves also very regular defrag streamer Usually have mastered these routes. Also, the winner of the warm-up round. Not that the winning the warm-up round means much, but you get style points for that. 2.6k speeds at the end. Same time as Hawks, so they're technically like joint fifth, should I say. Over 2,000 getting to the top. Can he get to 2.6? Yeah, he can. Yeah, he can. Just uh, just like his buddy. Ed, Cygib's brother. Cygib's brother is on it. Unless Cygib was like trolling me, but I trust Cygib. Yes! Yes! Get out of here! Get out of here! Woohoo! <laughs> Come on, Ed. You're the best. You are the best. <laughs> um. So, by the way, because I said top five, so I owe four euros because they're, they're both top five, but it's fifth. You get me. Four euros so far. 
Ed, who I'm going to play again just to rub it in. Ed is a boss. Because this is just the such root variation here. That is... It's just wild speed. Like, if you can do that, why would you take the top run? That's so sick, dude. That's such a run. I love that. Oh. The s speed he got with the slick. Alright, Ed. Nice one for your top four. We're now on to Breaker. Breaker's someone who probably I don't give enough credit. Breaker's super solid. He kind of, like, clips downwards. Get out of here, guys. What are we saying? What are we saying? Top five, everyone uses the top route. Breaker, Breaker, no. He knows. No one else is thinking. No one else is using up here. But these guys were. These guys were, okay? Baz. Now, Baz, is he, think is he thinking like the rest? Baz, I mean, he just... All he does is win defrag World Cups. It's insane. This guy is an absolute god. What's he going to do for us? Oh, he's doing the top run. That's eight euros. But he's done it with elegance and grace, guys. Getting himself sub-16 with that. Very nicely done, Baz. All right, and now um, for Anne. What's it done? Half top five used top route, half didn't. And there's only two people in the entirety of the top 20 so far who haven't used the top route. That was Ed and Breaker. What is our top Superman player, round one defrag World Cup 2019, going to do? And take it away, sir. Number to be number one, you don't use the top route. Look at this godlike performance here from Anne. That run, dude. That I don't want to clap too loudly. Not waking people up. Let, let's let's go through it again, and then we can like slow it down a little bit. Holy shit, though, the speed that he's getting. I'm going to I'm gonna do it again normal time, and we're going to sort of break it down, because this slick is like... This guy's a slick uh, pad god. That's what he does. It's, it's so fast. And he still gets 2.6k. Smooth AF. You're damn right, Nick. Balls sir. out. Jer <laughs> Jerky's minion, man. Thank you so much for the 20 months, buddy. Let's go slick check. I mean, Anne is the slickest of slick checks. Right, so it's down good. Like, this is the part of the map that Anne is just amazing at. How he goes from 1500 exactly to... And there's so much, like, practice that goes into getting this kind of angle. I really want to see how he, how does he approach the uh, the next part. So the spacing to get that jump just right is is madness, and he gets the wall clip. So again, the spacing on that jump too has to be perfect. There's no room for mistake, and he still manages to get a bit of speed. And if he landed there a little bit, just a couple of units earlier, then he probably loses like 700 unit, uh, UPS or more. Maybe less, but maybe more. Congrats, Anne. For getting the big boy time. I'll play, it, I'll play it one more time in full because it's just, it's just wild. Oh, shit. Dude, this, it's, there's so much space between like, so much, so little space, sorry, between success and failure in that run. But he's literally making boundaries with how damn close that is. Let's tie off round one with something from Cab Corp. And we can just see how things look. And then we're going to start getting our way through to the round two map, which I've still not seen yet. I think it's up. <laughs> it's not my run, guys. And look, Wiz doesn't use the top route. And see, 14.7. 14.7 from Wiz. Um, 
All right, let's let's get the next map in, shall we? Uh, do we have round two out yet? Oh, do we not? When when does round two out? When can we get the round two map? It looked like Razy's mouse at QP. That is actually true. I don't know how to get the round two map. Oh, it starts in in 15 minutes. Shit. How do we kill 15 minutes, guys? I'm still, I'm still, let's, let's play some of the top runs for both BQ3 and, um, and CPM in the meantime. And just so a little bit so I can rub it in more. Try to get a, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not grinding it anymore. There's no point in grinding it anymore. I want to play, I'm going to play top three VQ3. No, I won't show 2017. We'll, we'll focus on 2019, guys. Play Hades run 20 more. I mean, I absolutely would be happy to do that. But guys, you got to bear with me. We've got to get ourselves to the round two map. The thing is, this run from Roma is actually so good. But then you see Hades and you just forget that anybody else in the Defrag World Cup exists. It's it's crazy. Roma, though, with a top three score, I'd definitely be happy with that. Absolutely. Haste actually got pretty good time in CPM as well, I think. <laughs> so I probably could have done top 30 then quite comfortably, actually, and we would have just about got ourselves over to... Uh, uh, to round two start. But I just want to say, don't underestimate the, the knowledge of uh, of no top. And I'm so glad I called my team top root sucks. <laughs> don't play last place, I don't want to be famous already. Oh, this is this is the god tier run. I'm I'm so I feel like we've just seen absolute magic in to like the level already in round one is like what warm up? The warm up we had a warm up map already. We've warmed up. We're ready. You felt important with your run in top ten. Hey, ten facts. You should be really happy. The level of competition that we've got at the moment is is staggering. Like, are there any other names that I really want to see? Some people that. Let's have a look because there's, there's some people who didn't get so hero. Where ND is top twenty. Like I want to see what Zas did. I, I always want to see what Zas is up to. See top run here, top run. And Zas Zas is the first guy, in my opinion, who would figure out like a mid run. 16.3 is still ludicrously good. Like, if we go between 16.1 to 16.5, there's like 40 people there. There's a crazy amount of people there. Like Nebula. L let's watch some Nebula. This guy, Defrag World Cup, uh, part-time host. Oh, he does change it a little bit. Okay. He's not quite on the same, like, downward ramp. I mean, there's, there's a lot of other very notable people there. Obviously, Zoo. Did, uh... I'm not trying to, like, point or anything. Wh Where's Venga? Where did Venga's time go? I thought Venga submitted a time. It's, it would be nice to see someone who's like just really fresh to defrag putting one through i think storm is a very cool player i want to see storms run you didn't you saw ah
Again, it is so solid. There's like such fine differences and such gr a grind that goes through to improve your time significantly at all. Cab Corp, this is the guy who makes the movies and also does the whiz runs. Started playing Defrag last Saturday. Well, it's awesome that there's people coming in that we get this many sign-ups. See, I don't think I was that far away from being able to do a run not too dissimilar, like not too far away from doing a sub-17. But I think that the top route is deceptive. Is deceptive. I'm gonna go through the top. We're gonna to go to Ed. No, let's let's start with Woody actually. Just because I am being very competitive about what I've said about the top route. Okay. Oh, can I see the points in the team round? Oh, yeah, that's a good shout. Let's get through these, and then we've got probably five to ten minutes to to look at points. That's a really really good idea, Tenfex. Thanks for that. So again, we've got top root. Hox has got an identical run. Dex is not winning. Dex came fifth in his uh, in his VQ3 strafe only run. It was Hades just blew away the competition, in my opinion. Like in a strafe maps like this, it's rare that you have those kind of gaps at the end. And this is where we this is where we see them breaking the stalemate. Shout out to to Ed. You can sign up at any point, Effortless. Absolutely any point in the Defrag World Cup. And this is just the first week. So he manages to get on like the upper bit, so he doesn't have to do so much of like this double jump. So he gets to do like a whole load of slick there. Yeah, anybody can continue signing up, guys. There's no... You can literally sign up to round... On round seven. Like, halfway through round seven. You just won't be able to get points from the previous rounds. Really, Jazz? You normally you normally can sign up at any point during it. Breaker. Godlike run. Just imagine... Just imagine if Baz knew about the mid route. Like, in terms of executing the top route, couldn't really be better, in fairness. Like, absolutely insane run. But, uh, Anne, who's just... Yeah, melting faces. Two point two six across there. And then, like, another plus two hundred going across that tiny little slick patch. That's that is wild. Uh, let's look. Let's find the scores. And we're going to go in. All right. Can we look at standings? Oh, do we not have the points yet? Uh, have points not been distributed? Or are we still waiting for that? Lith is sending me something. I'm nervous. Let's let's watch this run that Lith just sent me. I think you, this is one that would have been upsetting for him. It looks like. I didn't actually see the time overall. They might be waiting for validation. Ah, okay, okay. Oh! You know who you can blame for that? Yourself. All, it's all you can do. Yeah, big rip on that run. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry you had to go through that uh, that tr troubling moment. You know, demo with the same mistake. Uh, I bet a whole bunch of people made that same that same error. Uh, so yeah, guys, do not go anywhere because in five minutes we will have the round two map ready to go. It looks like, from what I can tell, the yeah verifying a load of the demos and stuff. Uh, I want to go back over to the uh, I want to sort of preview the results again just so I can at least see the the results like myself let's just go let's just go fast let's get them down this is the only way I can show standings at the moment properly so I'm trying to show them ASAP. Well, Lundy, it's the Defrag World Cup, man. That is what is going on today. Hey, Kodish is there. Oh, it probably is, but I'm being very lazy because I might have to click it a lot. I was really staggered at how many people were getting great times. Yeah, dude, 200 plus signups. We've got the 420. <laughs> that took some hard work to get that. When it was already 16.5, I like ranked five. <laughs> Oh, at rank 50. God, yeah, man. It, is, it was insane. The favorites are Baz for CPM and Dex for VQ3. There's a whole load of Dark Horses, if I'm honest. I'll go through them in a moment. Because when you start getting into weapon runs, it switches up a lot. There's me! Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. We're in 16.6 in the top 40s or so. And what was it you get overall this? Like 16.3? 2? Like, it's just so close here. It's so close. Oh, you got 16.1 even. Like... It's just suddenly, like, you've got some players on a round that just find those gaps. Like, suddenly you see a tenth difference. Or you see, like, multiple tenths from the sort of big cluster of time. So you can see when routes are really similar generally, when you get these sort of similarities across players there. And here, like, this is a big gap. Three tenths off second place when you've got... 122 signups for VQ3. That is totally madness. Um, Dex, fifth. Strange Down, fourth. That's a big story. Can Hades hold things together? Hades is an amazing strafe player. I wonder if he can also do the weapons just as well. Um, Roma is someone that I always want to keep my eye open for. Uh, Haste, too. Where's Inder? Did Inder not enter? I don't think Inder entered uh, this round. Which is weird if Inder didn't enter because Inder's really good at strafe maps. Maybe he wasn't able to. Um, Woody in top six, maybe a bit of a surprise. Certainly someone who I see, not really as a dark horse, but one of the sort of favorites normally. I'd say Lith is a bit of a dark horse. I could definitely, I could definitely throw that definition. Lith teamed with Yotun. Now we know who's picking up the slack. Um, yeah, Jesus Christ. I'm still, like, getting over some of that. Who was Zaz teamed with again? I'd have to look all over again. We are a minute away, guys, from the next round map. Almost 30 seconds.
Inder has entered. He just didn't play this map. He's He is signed up. But he didn't put in a time. His, his name is something, something a a a a a Basically, not his name. All right, we're five seconds away. Is it going to be released? Okay, it is now 8 p.m. GMT. We got round two. Bang on cue. See what you can make of it from that little screenshot. We've got gauntlet, machine gun, grenades, rocket, and plasma. Oh, this is about to get technical, guys. This is about to get really, really technical. Uh, all right, let's put the map in. Okay, maps in, guys. I'm loading up right now. Show you Rue quickly. <laughs> I am going to go on CPM, guys. Well, let's figure out. Let's figure out what it's all about. Okay. Don't know what to make of it. You start with 100 health. Run starts here, and you do cap out on stack. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe chance for some uh, teleporter play. So plasma pick up there. Thirty-five. Oh, there's a bounce pad to help you out a little bit. So I'll use. Oh, this is slick surface. I just realised. I'm probably going to use the bounce pad in a second, but... I don't have any tools to help me. So let me get across. Now I've got four rockets. Dude, this map's going to get really hard. And there's grenades here. Chances are grenades probably won't get used just yet. And you're expecting more like a double jump, um, a two times rocket here. Hey, we made it up, guys. I'm back onto plasma. Jesus Christ, this is gonna... Don't get paid enough for this! Around and under. Grenades again. Just the one rocket. Stack up on the armor, and you get more rockets again. So this is going to be double rocket jump territory. Oh my god. And it gets even more complex. This is gonna be a really fast weapon run. Some of the some of the the routes we're gonna see not, the techniques we're gonna see in this are gonna be insane. It looks very completable for a lot of different levels, but still very challenging too. It's going to have a sort of high skill cap to it. And that's the map, guys. 1 minute 34. There's my PB. There it is submitted. Grenade pads on the wall. Let's have a quick look at that then. I missed it. Figure out. And I'm not running it properly or anything, guys. I'm just uh, trying to explore some features of the map. And it's about tying things together as smoothly as you possibly can. So are these grenade pads? Oh. So there are grenade bits on the floor there. I 
don't know where the grenade pads are on the wall, though. Ziggy Poptastic for the 18 months. <laughs> What's up, dude? Good to see you. Are these? So. No, nope, maybe not. Those aren't grenade pads. Where the hell did I just go? Oh, I TP'd out. But there's a grenade pad on the floor there, which is kind of weird. So maybe if you already use your grenades. Ah. I think the easier way to do it is like this, actually. You catch my drift, though, right? Pre-shoot nade and plasma up is uh, going to be the easiest. You're not wrong. So you don't actually have to get into this box. You just have to get to the top, and that's where the timer closes. So this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. There's a lot of different weapon skills that you have to incorporate into this. There's good strafing anyway. I'm really curious if you can. The noise though is insane. So you, I think you can do something funky with that. Map by Axos. Any pre-jumping? No pre-jumping either. I kind of want to grind it now, but I've also been streaming for four and a half hours. Um, so I'm sure I, if I get a chance to grind it a little bit, I will. But I think I think I'm going to start calling it there. What's the ghost that runs with this up? That's, yeah, that's my PB or my previous runs. Uh, personal best, apart from it's not really the best anything. It's my best, I guess, but it wasn't an effort. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to call that it. Thank you so much for watching today, for enjoying Quake Champions, and then Quake 3 Arena Defrag Mod for the Defrag World Cup 2019. All of the round one juicy bits and a little sneak peek at round two. I hope there's going to be some more streams as well for Defrag. Um, this coming week, I might have a chance to stream, but I don't know yet if I can do the round reveal for round two next Saturday. I think I might be working then, but I'm going to do as many as I can. And even if I'm not able to, I'll still do something so I can at least get some kind of like content for it. Because I still will want to personally watch all the top runs, right? Um, but uh, a big thanks to all the players for submitting their demos. Congrats to Hades. Um, congrats to Anne. And uh, to everyone competing along the way. Remember that the top route is not the best. I will be donating 8 euros to respect my words. But you should all feel bad. And the rest of you, everyone else should be donating 12 euros to the Defrag World Cup prize pool. White Feather, thanks very much for the 100 biddies. I appreciate you. Um, but uh, yeah, otherwise, that's me done. Have yourselves a good night. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.